What's up everyone? Welcome to my first travel video. I just landed in Palm Springs, California. I'm headed up to Johnson Valley to a place called Hammertown. This town pops up almost overnight as 80,000 spectators descend into the valley for an off-road race called King of the Hammers. It's my first time covering the race and I'm super excited. And this is me setting up my camera in the media tent. Here's some of my camera setups for the week. For photos, I was using my trusty 5D. I attached my Insta360 to the top when I could. Otherwise, it was mounted to a vehicle. I shot a bunch on the new iPhone, but my main camera was the Pocket 6K. I've been using it for years with various lenses, and I love the image out of it. I would spend my whole day shooting, have a dusty 45 minute drive back to my Airbnb, set up a star time lapse, get some sleep, and in the morning, head right back to Hammertown. The second day, we drove around getting some vehicle beauty shots, as well as 360 portraits with some of the drivers. Later that day, it was qualifying time. This took place on a short course. I picked a spot where I could get everyone coming off the start line, going around the first bend, then coming down the hill, and jumping across the finish line. Woke up extra early today for a sunrise shoot with Pro Armor. The weather didn't look promising, but once the sun came out, the lighting was pretty good, and I managed to get a couple sick shots. Also my first time in the new Turbo R. It was fun ripping in this thing on the way back to town. Back in the short course for the RJ Anderson Pro Ride. He took a couple lucky winners around the course in the brand new Polaris Pro R. I shot some stills and focused on video of RJ ripping around the track. We had mounted two Insta360 cameras to the vehicle in different spots. Reframing this 360 footage and post gave me endless angle options, and I can't recommend this camera enough. It was finally race day. I headed over to shoot at a spot called Turkey Club. It's a slow, narrow rock section with not a lot of room to pass. It also got super dusty really quickly. After getting a little lost, I continued to a well-known spot called Chocolate Thunder. The whole valley was filled with spectators and I picked a good vantage point to shoot from. I had a locked off shot with the 5D, my Insta360 shooting behind the scenes, and me on the Pocket 6K with the telephoto lens. I made it back to town just in time to shoot the finish line. And after the race, the drivers organized the grudge match. I mostly shot stills with the 70-200 from my usual spot. After the podium ceremony and post-race interviews, it was time to edit a recap together. Also, remember those star time lapses I was telling you about? While well, my Airbnb was in Yucca Valley, where light pollution is very low. One cloudy night aside, I was able to capture a ton of stars. You see, ever since I got my first camera, I've always been fascinated with trying to capture the Milky Way. And as tired as I was each night, I couldn't waste this dark sky opportunity. On the last day, I woke up extra early again to do a sunrise shoot with the Draco ice cream truck. It was a cold but perfect sunrise in a desert. And just like that, my time in Johnson Valley was coming to an end. But it was time to head back to Palm Springs to catch a flight to Denver. I'll see you on the next one and stay hyped.